It's the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. Which Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes. Donkey of the day for Thursday, September 21st goes to Kenneth Petty. Uh, Kenneth Petty is the husband of the icon known as Nicki Minaj. But this is not about Nicki, y'all. This is us. This is about us, okay, as black men. And it's about us not wanting to let the childish ways of the streets go. Y'all do know, right, being a street nigga is not an actual occupation. There is not one single benefit you receive by being a street nigga, okay? There's no 401k. You don't get no health insurance. I have never in my life seen anyone be able to buy a house or any form of property because of street cred. But for some reason, we just continue to see so many people, so many men who have the opportunity and the access to do other things crash out because they still want to be in the street. Now, if you haven't heard, if you wasn't listening to Rumor Report all week and paying attention to the blogs and the news, and you probably missed Kenneth Petty incriminating himself by making threatening remarks to a specific individual, that individual being the rapper known as Offset, also known as husband of Cardi B. Now, we're going to play this ignorant ass video clip that went viral this week. In the video, you see Kenneth Petty and his gang outside of a New York hotel, allegedly where Offset was residing. But I don't see how Offset was in this hotel when millions of people were watching him live streaming with uh, Kai Sinat. That's how you pronounce his name, Kai Sinat, right? Sounds right. Yeah, salute, so. salute to Kai Sinat. Uh, I like that young man. But Offset and Kai had a sleepover in Atlanta. They were live streaming for 24 hours straight. They was having a grand old time smoking weed. I saw Offset making grilled cheese sandwiches. I think I think he was making grilled cheese. They was dancing, listening to music. They was doing what we all should be doing, and that's experiencing joy. Having a good time, being happy. Meanwhile, Kenneth Petty and his crew were doing the total opposite of that. I refuse to believe that standing outside of a hotel in the middle of New York City, mean mugging a camera, sending death threats, makes you guys happy. In fact, I actually think you have to be pretty miserable to even project that kind of behavior. But let's listen to the video. Big Queens. Yeah. Yeah. Sturdy nigga. What's poppin'? What's ah. poppin'? What's yeah. up? Money, man. What's up? Yeah. What's that, man? Yeah. Yo. Huh? You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They said you don't yeah. know. Exactly. We're on that vacation, we're yeah. planning your funeral. Yeah. Let's play, what's up? We'll yeah. meet you there, yeah. They wanted to come at oh, me at the, the VMAs, man. I ain't even, we ain't man. even do nothing to nobody, oh, man. Way, man. What's happening, man? Huh? Yo, where you at? We yeah. Guess what race it is! Well, it's not fair, we know. Niggas. <laughs> yeah. Niggas. <laughs> Bonnet Black. I was born in 1978. I remember a time when if you were doing dirt, it was a cardinal sin to speak on the phone about said dirt. That was a complete and utter no-no. Kenneth, I know you know this because we the same age, 45. 45, Magnum, Colt, Trump, whatever, 45. So I know you know better. Maybe you don't because nowadays these individuals have let the internet make them forget street rules. Because if you were still moving by the rules of the street, there would be no way in hell that you would be on the FBI's internet recording yourself in 4K threatening to kill someone. You told that man to plan his funeral on the FBI's internet and you thought there wouldn't be any consequences and repercussions. Do you know how many people probably sent that video to law enforcement? Why? Because you're high profile. You're Nicki Minaj's husband. And that's one thing I want to say, even if you don't respect yourself, respect your queen, respect who she is. You may not care about how this video impacts you, but you should care about how it impacts her. But maybe none of y'all care, professionally or personally. I just know as a husband and father, our job is to protect and provide. We can't do either one of those things if we tricking ourselves off the street, because that's what this is. When you got on video and you incriminate yourself in this way, you tricking yourself off the street. I don't want to hear none of y'all street dudes talk about how much y'all hate snitching because as soon as you or one of your partners pulls out these smartphones and decides to go live and record yourself saying these type of things and doing dirt, you have become an informant and you're telling on yourself. And that's exactly what happened because Kenneth Petty has been sentenced to 120 days of home detention after violating the terms of his probation because of that video. I got that right, right, Lauren? Up to 120 days. Up to 120 days. Okay. Well, whatever it is, Kenneth Petty, you've earned every bit of this. Simply because you cannot let the childish, destructive ways of the street go. First Corinthians 13, 11 says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. My brothers, I cannot believe I'm saying this at 45 years old, but there's so many of us who have not left the childish ways of the streets alone. And I would love to know, what do y'all know that I don't? 
Okay, the streets have never done anything but led people to two places, jail or the mortuary. And my father always told me that if you don't change your lifestyle, you're going to end up in jail, dead, or broke sitting under the tree. Let's update my father's words in 2023. If you don't change your lifestyle, you're going to end up in jail, dead, or broke on somebody's social media page recording yourself committing crimes, and that recording of you committing crimes will lead you to be in somebody's prison. Kenneth... He was already on probation. What part of law enforcement has social media to do you not understand? I said this earlier, and I'm serious. You know how they used to do ride-alongs with cops? Yep. I want to do a sit-along with police officers, and I want to sit and observe them observing this kind of stuff on social media. There has to be old detectives who can't believe that there are actually individuals doing their jobs for them. Smartphones in the hands of dumb niggas make law enforcement's jobs so easy. And I know they be laughing their ass off at our stupidity. I want to see it. I want to see old officers telling young officers how easy they got it. And they don't even have to do any real detective work because that is what I know is happening. And we have nobody to blame but ourselves. Mm. I can't believe I have to say this. But for the record, the streets are corny. The streets are lame. We have years and years of data and evidence that shows us that acting like how Kenneth Petty is still acting at 45, will do nothing but lead us to jail or death. Who wants that? Kenneth, you are in a privileged position. You married a very successful woman. You have access to resources that nobody you came up with probably got. Okay, the only op you should know at 45 is opportunity. Okay, you and your family have the opportunity to break every single generational curse that has ever existed in your bloodline. You have the opportunity to actually show the hood a different way. If you can get dudes to stand out in the middle of New York with you looking for an op, then you can take those same dudes and create some type of business that provides them an opportunity to not make the same mistakes that you have made in your life. Okay, my brothers, I don't know how many ways to tell you there is nothing to be gained from the streets. There is nothing to be gained from being hard, being tough. And when you know better, you do better. And we all have to know better because we have too many examples that show us where those streets lead. So I'll leave you with this, Kenneth. And not just Kenneth, all you street dudes. Smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Dumb niggas never learn at all. Which one do you choose to be? Let's all do better, black men, because I'm tired of this. Please let Remy Ma give Kenneth Petty the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother Are you dumb. All right. Mm. Ooh. Did I say nigga too much? Yep. No, I don't, you did, you couple, did. Couple, uh, one, uh, one or two was good, but he did like seven, eight. Tell BET peace and then we'll balance it up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> BET, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.